I'm about to leave to pick up my best friend who thinks we're going mall shopping, but she's wrong. We're going camping! <laughs> I went to REI this morning about as many camping items as I possibly could find, but here's the catch. We're not starting out with any of this. We're starting out with bare metal and scraps. Every challenge we complete, we unlock more and more items until we finally get that luscious tender tent. I'm really hoping we get to that step or else we're sleeping on the dirt. But I don't want to keep you anymore because we got a date with destiny. But let's beep beep and let's ride. <laughs> Cheers to making memories. Yuki! I love your camo outfit. Thank you. I have a couple questions. What's up? Why am I dressed like a woodland creature? I told you we were going to go to the mall, right? Uh-huh. We're not going to the mall. <laughs> but I wanted to go to Abercrombie. Well, instead, you're going to go to the big, bad whoops den in the woods, because we're going camping. Does my family know that you're kidnapping me? I already told all of the important people in your life. My mom? Yep. Okay. <laughs> now, it is a challenge, so you could go to sleep in a tent tonight if you play your cards right. I think we actually might be very good at this because we did watch Survivor. The way this challenge is going down is Maddie and I have to survive an entire night by building a fort, making a fire, catching fish. So this is just like fun Hunger Games and nobody died. <laughs> this is a message for President Snow. Fire is catching. <laughs> Maddie's POV. This is my final monument to the United States of America because I don't think I am going to survive through the night. It was fun knowing you, only sometimes though because most of the time I was confused and hungry. I hope to achieve one thing and one thing only from this trip. Seducing someone to join me in the wilderness. I was kidnapped, not seduced. Okay girl, we don't need the logistics. Ooh, whoa, 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 yeah. I am getting murdered by mosquitoes. We are standing where our future campsite's gonna be. We have to build it like Bob. Although I will say, we're staring at a nice, wonderful plot of land, but there's only one way to get access to that, baby girls. And what is that? It's by building a, say it with me, form of shelter. It only took us one try to come up with that one. It's a very simple objective. If we can get a fort built here, then we get access to more stuff. If we complete all the obstacles, we actually get to live in the tent. Yay! I give us a 30% chance. I give us 25. Oh. Now, Maddie, I didn't want to make this challenge impossible, so I did pack a little care package just to get us off our feet. For me? Yeah, for you, baby. What do you see in there? Ooh, a hammer. No, it's a hatchet. Maddie, I'm going to give you the task with having to cut down the wood to build this fort. Well, I'm supposed to be in charge of actually building and assembling the thing, which is why the second item is, in fact, twine. I love this thing. Okay, go chop the wood now. Okay. While Maddie's off doing that, here's a little haul of everything else in my little care package. And this is one of many. We're going to have a lot of different ones. I did pack an Eno. I also packed scissors and then a little baby flashlight this is going to officially be where my pile of twigs are i feel like the onceler after he first discovered the fantasy land of thneedville hey son you're a little bright today these two sticks are coming with me oh oh shoddy did you chop these i went chopping oh my gosh okay just lay them down thank you okay thank thank you i didn't have high expectations for her. i heard that oh you know what's a trigger for me big flies zooming past your earlobe i'm a firm believer of personal space thank you the test I think we got one good. You see that right there? That's success. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, this is so much easier than I thought. Like, hit me what's next. You know what I mean? <laughs> next chapter, next page. This one's a lot bigger, so I think we need to put it front and center as like almost a base. She's giving boyfriend material, you know? And when you compare her to the others, ooh, things get a... It's because you didn't have boyfriend with you. Boyfriend's got you covered. I'm just gonna try and bury it a little bit so it's very sturdy. Thank you. Maddie Ann, how are you feeling in one word or less? Lumberjacky. Kind of like it. Carter, how are you feeling in three words or less? Sexy and free. That's it. That's actually three words. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I was listening to Domino by Jesse J. Yeah? This is amazing. Thank you. What's your favorite part? This is like artistic agriculture. <laughs> Do you think it counts as a fort? I think if you can lay under it, it counts. I feel like this would stand up to a category five hurricane. Like if the big bad wolf came and huffed and puffed, we would survive. <laughs> if the San Andreas fault faulted, we'd be okay. We'd be so okay. It's like a bomb shelter. I mean, I feel like we should get the reward. I feel like we built a fort and we could sleep under here and survive. We scavenged and we crafted. Everything that we needed. To the best of our ability. <gasps> oh no, no, no. No, please. Oh, no, 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 please. I say we get it. Okay, off to task two. If you've ever seen any survival show, you know the number one thing you need to survive is food and water. And so what do you think Shoddy Bay got us? Shots. No, not shots, but some pretty colored knives. I'm just gonna say it, I want a spearfish. All the stores I went to don't sell spearfish. So I present to you the DIY crafted version. Why do I feel like we are so surviving in the wild right now? because we literally are. That's insane. That, when I tell you, this is so sturdy too. It's not going anywhere. Like it's not even. 
It's not moving. If we get anything, we're allowed access to drinking water. I'm ready to catch. Otherwise, we're gonna be parched all night long. I think it's time to venture down to the woods. <laughs> Look at how open. We found an open area. This is beautiful. Away, away, not to west to one away. I know where I can go and it's away. Do you see that? No, Maddie, it's beautiful. It even comes with a built-in tide pool. Describe to me how you're feeling. These would kill us in seconds. We should not go in there. Off he goes. Hopefully this isn't the last known footage of Carter Kench. I hope he catches us a scrumptious dinner. I haven't eaten since 2 p.m. All I had today was some iced coffee. What am I supposed to catch with this? I'm over it. I don't think there's any fish in these waters, not gonna lie. What? Is it cold? Is water wet? Some people say no. And as he aimlessly swings at the ground, we realize that this human will starve. It's Nikki Bo Throttle, it's Mickey Bo Throttle, it's Mickey Bo Throttle, it's oh, oh, it was so good. I'm tripping off one. I'm done with this. The only thing I caught was the common cold. Wait, technically I said I had to catch something. Right. Hold that thought. Two seconds later. <gasps> oh my gosh, Carter! One. What is that? It's a big bass. Wait, what is it? It went back in the water, but we got something. Yes, we did. We will not starve tonight. My shoes right now sound like the chum bucket sloshing on the floor. I bet a lot of you are questioning our completion of each obstacle, but we're using the Carter rule, which is A for effort. So guess what we got? Some lifesaver water bottles. <laughs> Some lifesaver water bottles. I have our two favorite colors, but because I want you to remember me if we get eaten tonight by a mountain lion, you get my color. Let's go. We're off to fill our water, our water bottles that have filters. We are about to be so hydrated and that's so good because earlier I stood up and almost passed out. The dog takes his natural lap and dips his tongue into the lake water. This is Maddie's first attempt at collecting any form of water this entire trip. Yes, Shadi! Yes! You did so good! Okay, ready? Yeah. <gasps> Wait, I'm actually really nervous. It actually tastes like bath water in like a really good way. I love bath water. Okay, salt burn. This is my review for the river water. I have never drank from the earth's flow before. Oh my god, my organs are so thankful. <laughs> what do you say we celebrate by building a fire? A much needed one. I can't wait to feel the warmth of flame. I can't wait to dry my hair. Let's go. With our second challenge now fully complete, we get the second reward. Hold this for me, I need to collect it. <laughs> I thought with other humanity here, we'd have a chance at survival, but it's still looking pretty bleak considering that that is our shelter. I'm surprised it's still standing. The reward for this challenge consists of two items, both of equal necessity. The first one, a fire starter, because we do not know how to use friction or a magnifying glass. I've always wanted to use one of these. It has been on my bucket list. Think fast. Oh. I got a spiderwood. Sorry if that scared you. We live in a state where there are not that many trees and because the Lorax is our friend, we just got pre-cut wood. Don't come for us. I really don't think building a fire is that hard. After seeing five seasons of Survivor, everybody and their mother seems to be able to do it. They did it every season without fail. So why can't we? So I heard if you have magnesium, it actually helps spark faster. So right now I'm just collecting magnesium dust and then this should start it. No, because actually, how is this? You want me to try? I mean, yeah. Can we DoorDash pizza? My hands hurt. I know. <gasps> There's no reason it shouldn't be starting right now. No, we can do it. We can do it. I take back what I said. If you're on Survivor and can start a fire, I envy you. No, because that had to have turned. <laughs> There's no way this is... What? New method. So you're telling me a natural wildfire can start without any of this? Go up under me! Do you want to switch? Yeah, yeah. Last resort, I now have a stopper. <gasps> blow, blow. Oh my gosh, Carter! There's no way we did that. There actually is, because we tried every way. Should I move now? Yeah. Is this becoming a safety hazard? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks for helping. Oh my god, we win an award! What do we win? Are you hungry? I'm starving, Are Carter. you ready to eat? I'm so ready! What is that? Hot dogs. We have hot dogs! We got glizzies. I'm gonna eat seven. I didn't, unfortunately, include in this prize packet a metal rod to cook the hot dogs. So I have sticks to put in the fire. It doesn't make sense, but I got nothing else. Similarly to how I went spearfishing, I will attach knives to them. What do you think the survival chance of our glizzies are? I would say as long as you're careful, 99. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. You didn't watch SpongeBob growing up. No. <gasps> I feel like I'm ready for my bun. <laughs> the bee is back. The bee is back. The bee never left. This is my glizzy. Maddie's is still cooking because she's on attempt number two. Oh, I dropped it. 
Is it delicious? Oh my god. Is it cooked actually? Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, it has a smoked flame aftertaste. How are we surviving? I don't know. Oh my god. Right? It's so good. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have another glizzy. The way this is actually working. After putting out the fire, we've realized our tent isn't the most livable. It wouldn't protect us from a grizzly bear, let alone a moth. But it's quite airy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we deserve a reward. Right, and although building a shelter was part of that, let's be logistical. Mosquito bites hurt, so we've decided to give us the benefit of the doubt and sleep in the tent that is 10 feet away from us. Yes! Because we keep hearing little things in the woods. It's freaking me out. I thought I heard a growl, like a legitimate growl. Are you kidding? Uh, no. Welcome to the tent. Maddie, I need to tell you something. What? I cheated. Okay. I know this is a survival challenge, but I brought one thing. What'd you bring? Okay. I brought Maylin. I just, I, I needed a pillow. Did you bring me a pillow? Yes. What is that? Right here. What is this? It's a giant hoodie. There really isn't much else to do except sleep. I'm so ready for that. I don't know what time it is, but we are officially clocking out for the night. We'll see y'all in the morning, but I just wanted to get a good night. Good night, Maddie. Yeah, it looks like the morning. My breath stank. Hello, campfire. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, Maddie's like out. And I don't know if this is gonna work, but I've always wanted to prank somebody that Bigfoot's there. Or a bear or something. I doubt I'll pull it off, but let's try. I just have to be very quiet. Hello. Good morning. After 10 hours, the wild mate appears from the natural habitat. Good morning. The morning activities are pretty slim. We want to just have a nice, peaceful, relaxing day. What do you want for breakfast? I feel like we're limited on options. I have beef jerky. I'm very content. I think we survived the night. I think we won the challenge. I think we the fire up. challenge made up for our lack of pull in the other challenges, for sure. I'm stinky and sweaty, and if there was a photographer hidden anywhere, I'd look like Bigfoot. <laughs> that would be the sighting. Wait, are we cleaning up? Thank you for watching us try and survive in the woods. If you want to see us go camping again, make sure to let us know in the comments. No. I'm not going again. Why? He can take somebody else. Cuz, no! Let me know in the comments who else you'd like to see in the woods. I would love to bring them out of their home. We're gonna run off into the sunset. Bye now. Bigfoot says subscribe!